Uh, here to present the bold vision for environmental justice is Cecil Corbin Mark, Deputy Director of Program, uh, Deputy Director and Director of Programs at We Act for Environmental Justice, a nationally recognized community-based environmental justice organization. Cecil and I co-lead the Just Green Partnership that Bob Rossi just referred to, um, which is an organ a group of about 50 organizations in New York State working for environmental health and justice for New York's people and communities. He serves on boards too numerous to name, including Clean and Healthy New York's. He's a founding board member of Clean and Healthy New York. Please join me. And he has the dubious distinction, or the distinction, I should say, of being the one little bio that I didn't have to look up or fact check or anything. Cecil is my brother. So please join me in welcoming Cecil Corbin Mark. Kathy, thank you so much for uh, that warm introduction. Um, I just want to thank everybody for being here this evening. And as Kathy said, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, great. I, can you can you see me? I'm really excited that if you can see me because it's been a struggle to get my camera to work tonight. We can see you and we can hear you. Excellent. Uh, I just want to thank everybody who's joined us this evening to support the great work of Clean and Healthy New York. Um, as a founding board member, I am so excited to see the growth of Clean and Healthy New York. Um, obviously, we are in some very tough times, and doing this event virtually for the first time, uh, the organization has pulled us together, and I couldn't be prouder of all the efforts that have gone on. So thanks to Kathy and to Bobby for their leadership and for the rest of the staff that support them. Um, it's so cool to be able to, rest, to say the rest of the staff that supports them as Clean and Healthy has had a growth year. Um, we're really proud of all that you guys are doing. So I am uh, given the opportunity today uh, to uh, provide the Bold Vision Award for uh, Environmental Justice. Um, that award this evening uh, is going to be awarded to Soulful Synergy LLC. Um, Soulful Synergy, apart from being just an amazing name. Somebody else. Hello? That was Pat Jenny. Oh, was that Pat? Okay. Um, so, uh, apart from having an amazing name, Soul for Synergy uh, is a full service, socially conscious consulting company that takes a multifaceted approach to sustainability, uh, workforce, and community development. Their goal, as their website says, is to empower people, organizations, and communities to thrive by connecting them to opportunities that maximize the resources available to them. Uh, their services uh, extend to workforce development. Uh, they provide a sustainable social impact consulting. Um, and one of the things that I was uh, really happy to read about them is that they have a statement on their website that says the keys to a thriving community are the collaborative relationships between people, businesses, nonprofits, and government agencies. We create that soulful synergy to help communities transcend short-term recovery into long-term sustainability. Uh, I am really proud as the treasurer and as a member of the Board of Clean and Healthy New York uh, to be able to present the award for Bold Vision for Environmental Justice from Clean and Healthy New York uh, to Soulful Synergy's co-founder, Alejandro Alvarez. Alejandro? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Senso, you took all my punchlines, man. You're <laughs> doing <laughs> <laughs> very well. Thank you so much. And I have to say thank you for saying my name so strongly. I can't, I don't think I even say my name that well. Um, but, <laughs> but to everyone... Hermano, here, no problem. Gracias, mi gente. Um, but to everyone here, thank you so much for, for this recognition. I really wish my, my business partner, Dwayne Norris, uh, would be here with me as well. I think my, uh, my, great, my good colleague, um, um, Lily Mosley, should be on the call. I haven't been able to look for her, but I definitely have to give thanks to them as well because, I, you know, again, uh, the organization is only as strong as its parts, right? And, um, and Soulful Synergy literally is, uh, 
it's an organization that was created from the heart to, to really create soulful synergy out there. But, um, but first and foremost, again, though, I really wanted to thank Clean and Healthy New York for the work that you do, right? I mean, one of the things that we, we really appreciate and are inspired by is that you're not only out there talking about the work and protecting people about these toxic chemicals, but you're out there bootstrapping and, and putting in the work, right? And it's, um, it's very easy to, again, speak about it, but, but to, again, really, you know, put in some sweat and tears into this. It's something else, right? Um, so, again, thank you uh, for the work and, again, for this recognition. Um, to me, personally, it's, it's something that really hits to the heart because um, sustainability was something that um, hit me hard when I, when I called uh, the 25 um, uh, like prices, right? And it was exactly environmental justice that drove the ideas between Dwayne and I to, to create Soulful Synergy, right? Because, um, you know, the people that we looked around us that looked, you know, I get, again, like him and I, um, were a lot of people that were suffering out there. And the, the, the deeper we went and the more research we did and the deeper we, we you know, we did, um, we recognized that a lot of things, I mean, mostly everything circled around sustainability, right? A lot of the problems that, that, that we could that we're facing right now um, is all under the umbrella of sustainability. So, so with that said, we, we really created this, this company to, to really figure out ways and how we could take our imagination and how we could, you know, uh, make our, our world healthier again and really take it and, and bring it to, and bring it to our people. I, I would like to, to, to read a quote that, that really, you know, resonates with us from Dr. Robert Bullard which is known, who's known for them uh, as the father of environmental justice. He said, environmental justice embraces the principle that all people and communities have a right to equal protection and equal enforcement of environmental laws and regulations. America is segregated and so is pollution. Race and class still matter and map closely with pollution, unequal protection and vulnerability. This is a powerful measure that, that illustrates the reality of, of, of what environmental justice truly is where the whole community has a right to equal protection and equal enforcement of environmental laws and regulation. We must stop the segregation of pollution and furthermore, the segregation of opportunities that come with the transition into this new green, clean energy, I'm sorry, into this new clean energy economy. Uh, Dr. Bullard, along with many that have and those that continue to fight for environmental justice are driven by atrocities of environmental racism, lack of sustainable development, mis misuse of urban land, industrial facilities sitting in our disadvantaged neighborhoods, the need for community reinvestment, limited housing because of gentrification, transportation pollution, limited access to healthy food. Uh, again, uh, to, to soul farms, I big you up, great work. <laughs> when, I, when I saw the, 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 the work coming in, it was amazing. Thank you for that work. Um, limited work and career opportunities, emergency response quality, and the need for community re uh, resilience. The, the, it, when social justice gets put in the back seat, the most vulnerable communities will continue to suffer and carry the pains from lack of inclusivity and consideration. It's unfortunate that the people that are least to blame for the current environmental conditions will be the most to suffer. We see, we see this repeat itself over and over. We saw it through Katrina and, and, and many other devastating natural disasters and now during COVID. The sad thing is that if we don't make these much needed changes, it's not just us that suffer, but future generations. We believe this American, Native American proverb said it best. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. The good thing is that we have organizations just like yourselves and the work that we're trying to do ourselves here at Soulful Synergy. Um, we, our, our work is, is focused, I would, and leave it here, what our, our, I call our three-pronged approach is workforce development. Um, we work with small businesses and helping them get, obtain their minority and women's business enterprise certification. And we also help these small businesses um, uh, uh, go through a, a energy uh, energy audit through NYSERDA and helping them uh, lower their energy costs called, called the Commercial Tenant Program. Um, within our workforce development program, we focus on um, construction safety trainings because of being one of those, I guess, industries that many of people in the LMI community see as a, as a very easy play to, to, to enter that also provides a great quality of life, right? Once they're, they're able to, to obtain uh, certain um, left, certain experience, right? We also have now currently been providing in partnership with NYSERDA, Will Dan, and, um, and NYIT, the Clean Tech Academy training, where we, uh, we train individuals for 60 hours in the green economy, lighting, HVAC, heating and cooling, and then we also provide them career services. 
All right. And, um, and then the last thing, like I said, we mentioned is minority business enterprise uh, uh, certification or support, just because we want to help our small businesses. And at the same time, as they grow, we are going to need a labor force and we hope to provide them the same pipeline. So again, thank you for this opportunity and this award. Again, I'm extremely grateful. And again, Dwayne Norris, my business partner and my teams all feel the same. And again, thank you for all the work that everybody's doing.